My name is uh, Mark Nederson, Polar Explorer and Expedition Leader for the Last Degree 2010. March 30, we departed with a team of eight people to the Arctic Ocean to ski from the last degree to the geographic North Pole, which equals a distance roughly of 110 kilometers. In the first kilometers, we were actually quite lucky to find some good terrain, but you know, it's unavoidable that at some point you meet pressure ridges which you have to cross. After a beautiful start, what happened is that uh, the weather started to change. The temperatures uh, were extremely low sometimes, uh, which was difficult to manage. But the most difficult thing was that there were clouds coming in, the visibility dropped, and then the wind picked up as well. And that started slowly but surely the counter drift, which was one of the main themes in this expedition. You must imagine we are traveling on a frozen sea. So we're actually on a very thin layer of sea ice, on this huge ocean. And uh, the winds and sea currents, you know, bring that ice in motion. And statistically, we would have encountered drift towards the pole from where we started, statistically. But in reality, we got back drift. So the wind, mainly the wind was pushing us back. So we're making progress on the floating sea ice, which was removing itself away from the North Pole. Part of our expedition was a program where we would collect scientific data from the sea ice, actually you know, drilling through the sea ice and seeing how thick it was. Um, that data was used as a reference for Cryosat, which is a satellite from the European Space Agency, which with uh, a very high precision is measuring the thickness of sea ice over a period of, let's say, three years. What an amazing place uh, to come to the top of the world to be with uh, seven other guys who are all fantastic, they get on really well together. An absolutely amazing, amazing trip that I can recommend anyone provided you can uh, withstand a little bit of cold occasionally. Yeah, it was an absolutely um, fabulous group of dedicated people that worked very hard in uh, trainings and preparations, worked very hard on the Arctic Ocean and cooperated extremely well. So it was uh, an absolute pleasure, an absolute pleasure to work with this team. What really stands out for me is that a year ago, I had the idea that I wanted to go to the North Pole. I didn't have a clue how I was going to do it, who I was going to do it with. And it seems like today's the day that actually I will be standing on the North Pole. I'm incredibly happy. I'm incredibly proud about that. Of course, there is this element that we didn't get to the pole for the full 100% on skis. But if you see it in the bigger scheme of things, I think it's an absolutely fantastic achievement that we as a team have achieved. Oh, yeah!